Hello bookish besties, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Sally and you're watching Sally Reputation. <laughs> For this video, I'm bringing back book thrifting because I love book thrifting, you guys love book thrifting, we all love book thrifting. Usually I go to the thrift store, I vlog and I show you what's up and sometimes I go to multiple places, but for this one, I realized that in my drafts or like in my hard drive, I realized I've been going to a bunch of thrift stores and looking at books but I haven't been editing and posting them. Which is so sad because I actually love editing them because if you guys know, I do these voiceovers and I'm always like interacting with you guys and it's always a good time on the voiceovers. I decided why not combine every single thrifting vlog drafts I have in my hard drive and make a whole big compilation vlog of book thrifting. So basically this video is me going to a bunch of local thrift stores, Goodwill, and even my library book sale which sells 50 cents books, which you guys know I love and I show sometimes on this video not video channel but I went like a few times so you'll see that throughout this video but I have some major scores in this video so definitely stay tuned it's such a pretty day out and then I have my books so let's go drop these off Today, yellow dotted books are 10 cents. I don't really know how they mark their systems, but I'm not going to complain because 50 cents books, 10 cents books, it's all a good deal to me. I found some really amazing books like F.T. Lukens, David Yoon, even this book, Carrie Mack. They were all in really good condition and they're all YA books. And I was just shocked because three books, 150, you can't beat it. Like literally. The thing with the library book sale is that you do have to do some digging because there are a lot of ex-library books, but I did find this book series that I saw a lot of on Bookstagram, so that's really cool. There's Where She Went, which is the second book of If I Stay, I believe, but I think it's YA, so I'm not sure what it's doing in the adult section, but there are some really popular titles if you look hard enough. I feel like I've been in a big thriller mood lately, which is interesting because whenever the summer season comes around, I get in like a big romance mood, but anything that looks remotely thriller or scary, I pick it up. So I am really intrigued in the books that I pull out. So it's really interesting to see what grabs my attention. Everywhere I go, there is a Nicholas Sparks section, no doubt. Oh my gosh, as I'm editing this, I see seven days in June. How did I miss that? Wow, for 50 cents, you really can't beat it. I heard Peter Swanson writes pretty good thrillers. I got one book by him also at this library book sale, but I still haven't read that book yet, so I don't know what to do about that. Anyways, they also have pretty good like audiobooks if you have a CD player. I got one from here and it's amazing. Like I don't have to be on my phone. There's someone reading me a book and it's so slay. These are the three books I ended up finding and I wanted to buy. I'm so shocked by F.T. Lukens and I really, really wanted this book. I very much wanted those three books, but they don't take card and I don't have cash and I usually carry at least like $2 and they're 50 cents each, so I would have had enough, but I didn't have a single like cent on me. So I was like, oh, do you think you could like on hold these or like like have them in the back and I'll come back like later today and I'll like pay them and she was like sure I might have to come back before they close today but anyways I want to grab my burger so let's go let's go the land 
Hey Bestie Pops, welcome to Goodwill. I love this Goodwill because right when I walked in, I found The Push. And this is a very popular thriller. This author just published another thriller as well. So I could read this book and then read the second book. Literally awesome. Anyways, this first shelf literally has all the popular books because I found The Chicken Sisters and I've heard of this book, but I never really looked into like what it's about. So I didn't really give it a second thought. But I saw this book and I've seen it before and the cover always intrigued me But once again, I never really looked into what it's about. I think it's YA, but I still don't know to this day I'm going to be honest. I'm not the fan of the bottom shelf of thrift stores one. I hate like going down <laughs> Ignore my phrasing, but I hate sitting down on the ground because it's dirty. Like, I feel like my Goodwill never sweeps, but I also have really weak knees, so it's just like really hard to stand back up. But I feel like they're very intentional with their setup and they never put popular books back there or like it's just very weird books to be honest with you. Like I feel like every book that doesn't get sold within a month, they just shove it down there. Like this book, Girl Washed Her Hair, I swear it's been there for like three years. Like they just shove it down there because they know no one's going to buy it. So it's been there for a while. I'm also pointing it out right now. They have three of the same books all on the lower shelf. So I swear it's all intentional. I didn't realize until I was editing this, but I totally missed the second book of Crazy Rich Asians. And I think the last time I heard they were in production of making the second movie, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's on pause or if it's totally scratch. Anyways, back to my thrift finds. I have this book on my TBR and I also got it thrifting at a different thrift store. I still haven't read it. I heard really mixed reviews. This one is also on my TBR. I also got it at a thrift store. Actually, I got it at a library book sale, but I haven't read it yet. I'm actually really excited to read this. I meant I'm really excited to read Honey Girl, not this book, but someone did recommend this book to me again, but better. Someone said it had a lot of Taylor Swift references. I don't know if that's true. If you read it, let me know if that's true because I do like Taylor Swift and the Eras tour is going on, so I would love to read it. Also, here's the Nicholas Sparks section, which every thrift store has basically. But I feel like other than those finds, I'm not really seeing anything interesting at this thrift store, which sucks because I always find really cool books. So it's kind of a bust today. I'm having absolutely no luck today, which sucks, but I guess that's just how it is. I'm going to the library. I want to journal and like look at the book sales. Moving on to the library, which is my favorite place because all the books here are 50 cents and that is a steal to me because you can't really find that anywhere else, but you do have to do a little bit of digging because if you can see right now, there's a lot of ex-library books, but I found this really cool book and I ended up not getting it, but I held on to it for a while. Look, today had 10 cents books, which was really, really cool because a dime, that's really exciting. 
Anyways, back to the book. I ended up not getting it because people said on Goodreads that it's not really a thriller. It's more of like satire comedic book. So I ended up passing, but it was in very good condition. They have very popular titles like All the Bright Paces. Paces? I meant places. We also saw this book at the thrift store, but if I got it here, I would have paid 50 cents. And if I got it at Goodwill, I think I would have paid like $1.99 or $2.99 and I would have been so disappointed. This is the land of your people. This is not the land of my people. This is Glendale. I left faster than I came in because I should have known parking was so hard to find so that meant that it was probably really crowded but it was just like kind of overwhelming so I spent maybe three seconds in there I looked at the rings I filmed that little clip of the books and then I walked to the skirts and then I left Welcome back to me. This is my first time ever filming an outro for a book thrifting video. Usually I just say bye like with the voiceovers. So here's my face. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Comment down below what you guys want to see next on my channel and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Love ya. I have Atlas 6 that I really need to read. This book came out. Oh. Mm. I just finished listening to this on the audiobook. I know that is not YA.